Hey people, Darth Warm here, and welcome to episode 35 of Dagnarapa 2! Last time, we discovered that a uh, strange disease is spreading through the island, we isolated ourselves with Fuyuhiko in the hospital, along with Ibuki, Akane, and also... Nagito, who are all sick with it, while the others stay at the motel, and... During the night, Mikan made a little visit that was a bit too close for comfort. And in this episode, we're going to continue on. Okay, let's just do this. I don't like oh, this. Oh, I see. Your has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Um, Come um, on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? A, a notice on the bulletin board? I was trying to see this the first time, but not I didn't want to read it. A bulletin notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. And what about the patients? If patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words... Right, it's like the notices you see inside hospitals! You can't stay overnight here! What are you saying? There is one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nikito, alright? Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here! Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. He should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay like, and there's no way we can make me calm leave. Jeez. You're I pathetic. guess not. We have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to me, Khan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. So, Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad for leaving Khan alone. I guess for now, I should try to get some sleep. Monokuma Theater! Yay! Monokuma appears! Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class! Today, we're gonna learn how to make Tyro... Chiaki! Taigaki, the first thing you'll need is... A time machine! We'll drive back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Saijiro Kanabe. He used to bake and sell turtle shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up because he's gonna be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that you try making his pastries fish shaped because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Tayaki. Okay, with this, you fish making Tayaki. Brought to you by Monokuma. This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. Oh, my Monokuma voice is just so off today. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! I'm worried about Mikai and the others. I should hurry up over to the hospital. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and head over to the hospital. Yo! Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worried? Why do I have to suddenly... Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. Okay, where is it? Okay, Nagito, Nagito where's his room? Kane's room. Nagito room. Mikan, how's Nagito doing? Uh, things usual. Actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. Are you effing serious? Uh, this post looks extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. It is. He that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm in there, I will never let Nagito die. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't over exert yourself, okay? Hajime. Hey, Hajime. It's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Uh, 
Okay, let's leave. The incoming signal is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're alright waiting. Let's hurry up and stop the connection. Yeah, you're right. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor suddenly went up. Looks like the camera and monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello, how's it? How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you re real clear. <laughs> We're good, alright, too. I can totally see your broke ass face. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one there? Nope. Nope, we're all here except for Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> <laughs> it seems we all took an aberrant enemies in the eyes of that coward. Um... She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until this rare disease has been cured. She's even being caught by around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito is actually in serious danger. You... I already knew he's seriously dangerous. Well. No, not, no. Sorry. No, no, not that. He's seriously wandering the bordering line between life and death. What? What did you say? However. But is he going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better. Hey, hey. First Nekumaru, then Nagito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we can't really say. Yes. You really can't say that's impossible. Manami, what are you doing on that side? Um... Could it be dangerous if I got close to the hospital since I don't even know what's going on there? You are, you are really pissing me off. Like, why does a super stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! But please don't be discriminate! That disease is horrible! It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island! So until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on the uh, on this side! Or I could respond to Manomi. We he go ahead and cut the connection. Don't fuck with that me! Is a crappy stuff animal! She seriously pisses me off! Ah, damn it, I'm gonna go outside to cool off. We go practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyways, all we can do is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and change for the better. That's why we wait patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We wait patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? The face back and forth around the hospital lobby. We go injured and left the hospital many times, and time just kept passing by. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night! Damn it! It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over and now not, it's night time already. It's almost time for the night's transmission. Jeez. They should go back to our country when that's done. It's effing annoying to be coming back and forth though. But before we go back, can we check on the gear one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not going to have any new clues anyways. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. Why do I feel a death coming on? I don't know. Ah! Don't move. Don't move. And it won't see you, probably. Oh, Ibuki! What are you doing here? You need to be rusty. Yes. To tell you the truth, I am getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I kept sleeping all the time. So I was hoping I can help with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Oh, just a bookie in that in that patient's gown and with that look on her face in the dark room. You guys understand why I'm getting freaked out, right? I hope I'm just not coming off as some coward or such. Okay, I think Nagito's still alive. I hope I don't. I kind of. I'm sorry. I mean, I really. I mean. Just him dead would just make things a lot easier for us. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. And then poor Kane. Is she getting any care? Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Something's definitely off. Mikan's too courteous. She would never ignore. 
unless, I mean, we never really see her nursing. I mean, we don't know what she's like in her professional mode. Her back is turned towards me as she focuses on turning for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Looks, looks like you finally noticed. Oh, 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 I almost got wet! Okay, Mikan, still Mikan. What? Oh, no. you come by and check on Nagito? I just want to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired, too. Is it better if you get a little rest? Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Are you by chance worried about me? Y yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment till the day I die. <laughs> I'm sorry to get my energy back, so I'll get back to caring for Nikito. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. But that's exactly how I felt, so I just said I'd shut up and go back to the lobby. Yo! Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she has no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They apparently they're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both ends, it looks like we've had no results. Oh You're well. Pathetic. Let's look forward for tomorrow. With a despairingly heavy mood lying on our backs, we head back to our cottages. <laughs> My worries have piled so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into another's pit. I guess for a day, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I don't dwell on it too much. But not just that, first thing in the morning, I need to get to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time, and slowly closed my eyes. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. In the depths of my conscience, it slowly took its time, hazily. Like watercolor paint suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Can you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted to Hope Speak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those aren't noises. I'm still staring out the window. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises left into my ears. Huh? You don't know? <laughs> you know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional again to Hope Speak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? Is this what they meant by the reserve class? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that was that way was possible. So he's the same too. Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the admiring the Academy is free, but must be tough. Eh, well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the patrons who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just, I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this, anyways? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Hey, hey! Did you know that I'm talking about a personal fa- Hey. Did you know that talking about personal failure is a good way to break the ice on meeting new people? So, I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure! In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself, so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwilling letter, I was in a real behind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all like, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking pretty bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought you really could read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as the divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now, he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. However, I for one of his sales. That was my story of personal failure. What do you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, wanna buy this vase? <laughs> it's in pretty high demand. I'll give you a deal in it, cause I like you so much! Oh, like I said, my Monokuma voice is killing me at this point. I guess it's just like, this, this project has a lot more voice-intensive characters. Hmm, it's morning, huh? But, for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's something like, really, 
Oh my gosh, it's Mikasa on- it's Makana on you already! Wait a minute. What is this?! I- I can't believe it! <laughs> Freaking poor Hajime! This is his life! <laughs> Apparently, Mikan saw him out for some odd reason! Is this all the free time events I've been giving you, Mikan? <laughs> Just Hajime's face says it all! <laughs> Is she, is she sleepwalking? No, stop. You're tickling me. Mikan, again? <laughs> Hurry up and move. I, I, I can't breathe. Mm, you've stopped moving. I can move now. Now I can oh, sorry. finally relax and sleep. Sorry, I didn't know that the voices were going right. Pause for a moment. Now, know some boundaries, woman. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> you consciousness so much of blood. I thought you died from suffocation. But Mikan, why are you? Why are you here? The monkey man has it. Has it there yet? Uh, uh, now that you mention it, uh, I can't even wake you up, but it seems like I actually fell asleep. What, what kind of accident is that? But oh, good news, you see, the gear's condition stabilized. What, really? And I wish I would let you guys know, but we huge when we locked, though. Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks to Buki. Yes! Okay, anyway, please hurry over. The you could probably be saved. Yeah, got it. And then Nagito, he's gonna see them walking out of the room. He's gonna be like, I don't want to ask any questions. And quickly got just ahead of the last one with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh well, it's best not to think about it. Can't explain yourself? Um, you know, it's an inspiration. Please hurry up and see how he's doing. Like it, Ben. Like I said, Mickey, you are pure, you are wonderful, but there are, there are, there are boundaries. And <laughs> you, you ain't crossed those boundaries. I'm sorry. There I saw Nikito, who managed to step in his bed. The twin Ibukis are singing! I see, the boogie must have been a twin duo! The Veronicas! I is he supposed to be cured? Well, it's not like he's completely cured, he was just able to recover from his critical condition! He's delirious! They were utilizing their characteristic as twins and they've been taking turns appearing before me! Which means there are actually 17 people on this island! <laughs> the Veronicas! That's the answer! I've seen this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little while longer. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so relieved that you don't get consciousness. Uh, I'm so glad. I'm so busy. It's not how everything is getting around me. Should you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Um, and if you insist, I will use the one called room upstairs. You must be a You must be ex mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax and log instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, you know it's morning. Good night. Mikan wobbled around for a bit and then left the room. Did it, shouldn't we check her temperature? She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Man. Oh, what with Hajime, huh? I can't say I'm being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <gasps> yeah, hurry and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Actually, I'm going to search around and see if there's anything in here. Wait here. The morning Monokuma has should be starting soon. I should win at the lobby for the transmission. Huh? The surround camera unit's light is blinking. But that's weird. It's not transmission time yet. If the light is blinking, it receives some sort of transmission from the other side, right? But that's pretty early. We haven't re even received the Monokuma announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. 
And so there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should just receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? A, a noose? A, a noose? What, why is there a noose? Why is there a noose there? Please tell me that they're executing Hiyoko? Please tell me they're hanging Hiyoko and not something else? I'm on because I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying, dim light is shining on the black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light a candle? Oh, what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The other rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it was a step ladder. Oh my gosh, is this an execution? It was like a gallows. What is this? I, I don't understand at all. What's going on with, at the music venue? And what, what, and what happened? The moment I saw a saw slowly inch, silhouette slowly inching the frame from the other side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person was wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving and began climbing the step ladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over the top of the room and said, Oh, I see what's happening. Are you kidding me? And at that moment, huh? The streets on my pitch back, probably because of the candle. The only sort of light had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other side of the miner. What the heck is this? What's going on? One of them was going to the music venue. No, it doesn't matter. I have, I have to do something about this. I might see a little idea. I need to hurry to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transition was made. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Oh my gosh, let's hope that Hyoko somehow didn't start some Mi Ma Mahiru cult and start kill people. She oh my gosh, did they actually go to like dress him in a hospital gown and try to kill him? Just now, that was the morning morning, I came out and said, should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I gotta go see the music menu. The music menu. Okay, Titty Typhoon. I rushed into the music again with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. Oh my. Wait, that hair. That hair. Oh my gosh, Abuki was murdered! Was murdered! Killed herself or something! I was too late! What the hell is this? I couldn't get myself from shouting. Hot air! Why is it so hot? Why is it the strange hot air inside the music venue? No, now's not the time to worry about this. More importantly, why is anyone coming? What is everyone doing? Ah, the bike discovery announcement. That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody knows yet. And now I need to hurry. I need to let the others know. From there, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. Uh, I should hurry. I went to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody get out of here! As soon as I arrived at the hotel, I started shouting for help as soon as I could. You fiend. I was wondering who was making such an infernal racket. So it was you? G Gundam, something awful happened! What? Don't tell me! Do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take it all down with you? I won't let you! I won't let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first! Um, what happened? Is there a problem? Why did it all loud? It's worth the trouble. There's a body! Hmm? What? Didn't you hear me? A body was found! A body! Yeah. I renounce Could it be? you! You would have to spread life! Like that needle! You want to come use us all! Hold it! Oh, hold on! Hachime, is that true? Of course it is! Is it obvious? You Chiyaki, have you seen Nakita's condition? Yes. This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still... But there's no way you shouldn't check it out. Because if Hachime's telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? That's... Uh, a killing! Hey. If that's true, we need to check it out. Fine. 
If that's the case, I will not stop you. Leave this, Leave this to, me. to me! And you, and you fiends go on ahead! <laughs> no need to worry, I will catch up to you easily. Um... No, man, that, like, that, that sounds like famous last words! Jackie, can you yep. go? Yeah, it's very hurry, right? We need three people! Come on, we need to get the announcement off! I mean, really, this thing is going to go on a little longer. Oh, Mikan, you can join us. Come on, come on. But really, you are a horrible nurse if you're just letting patients. Because, I mean, if my theory's right and my hair is any sign that it was a buki. Ah, uh, Hajime. Mikan, why are you here? Uh, of course I'm not. Please Hajime. Help us. Hey, hey. Oh, Hajime, I'm not coming from over there. Huh? Hajime and Shaki, what are you guys in here? Where are you Why are you here too? Shit. And now I'm looking for a buki. Oh, yeah, that was a buki. Oh, my gosh. A buki is dead. A buki is hanging in the music room. Whoa, is she gonna jump scare that? Oh my gosh, what is she gonna haunt us? Okay, but just I think I think now would be just a good time to end things off. Cause really, just I think we'll start the investigation in the next episode and it'll all be good. I think it'll all be good. Anyways, I really appreciate this everyone to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. I hope you come back for the next one. If you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, share to wherever that you want, and with that, I will see you later. Bye!